Hello, good evening. Welcome to our channel, Yushi Talks. And today we will be talking about Lewis Hamilton and Charles Leclerc, who were disqualified from United States Grand Prix after failed blank inspection. We have more details. Let's get started. Lewis Hamilton lost his second place finish at the United States Grand Prix after being disqualified when his Mercedes failed a physical floor and blank wear inspection after Sunday's race. Ferrari's Charles Leclerc was found guilty of same offense and also disqualified from his sixth place finish. The skids on the bottom of each of their cars, which are designed to impose a minimum ground clearance for F1 cars, had worn away to the point that they were no longer within Formula 1 regulations. Hamilton's disqualification saw McLaren Lando Norris prompted to second behind race winner Max Verstappen and the other Ferraris of Carlos Sainz onto the podium. Setup choices on a sprint weekend are always a challenge with just one hour of free practice and even more so at a bumpy circuit like Kota and running a new package, said Mercedes team principal Toto Wolf. In the end, all of that doesn't matter. Others got it right where we got it wrong and there's no wriggle room in the rules. We need to take it on the chin, do the learning and come back stronger next weekend. In the Mercedes post-race press release, Hamilton said, it is of course disappointing to be disqualified post-race, but that doesn't take away from the progress we have made this weekend. Meanwhile, Williams Logan Sargent scores the first point of his rookie F1 campaign after being promoted to 10th with both of their team drivers scoring as Alex Albon jumped up to 9th. As for the battle for a second in Constructions Championship, uh, Ferraris are 22 points behind Mercedes in the Constructors Championship with four events remaining. Ferrari Sporting Director Diego Liverno explained the Italian team's perspective on the disqualification. Austin is a super nice track, but it's extremely bumpy. Bumpiness is a difficult topic for drivers and cars. In the past, more or less, everyone failed their suspension or chassis, he said. We knew it would have been tricky, and this is the reason why we lifted the car throughout FP1, and from our consideration, it should have been okay. As a matter of fact, it turned out that we were too marginal, and because of the wind that turned direction and had a stronger intensity than forecast, this brought our car to not be legal in the end. There is not a lot to say at this moment. We could have done with hindsight, rewind Finding the weekend, we may have lifted even more the car, but would have lost performance. And we are here to optimize our own performance. So that's all we have in today's video. Thanks for watching us. You have a wonderful day ahead. Bye bye.